Abilities like Matthew's might come in very handy in our line of work. That's true. Ira agrees. As a matter of fact, he's becoming a little insecure about his job. But look at this. I got a four-page printout this morning entitled Dependable Printed Circuitry Versus Inexplicable Phenomena. Do you believe that? <laughs> oh, he's too much. Now, about your punishment. Punishment? That's right, punishment for staying on an assignment after specific orders not to. Steve, I had to prove that Colonel Decker lied about me, and you know it. Colonel Decker is now Private Decker. As far as your punishment is concerned, I'm sorry, Diana, but I'm going to have to insist. That you take a real vacation. Plane tickets, hotel reservations, and specific orders to have the time of your life. Steve, I don't want to go. Go. Well, there's no suntan lotion in here, and I, and I burn very badly. I don't have anything to read. No, no books. No books. <sighs> no film for my camera. Cute. Well, you want to go with me? When criminals in this world appear and bring the laws that they should fear and frighten all who see or hear, the cry goes up so far and near for underdog. 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 Speed of For no one knew what was going on in the laboratory of Simon Bar Sinister. Gee, boss, I don't understand this new plot at all. Very simple, Dad. At precisely two o'clock tomorrow, my army will strike and I will be the master of the city. Uh, my three airplanes will take off and attack from the sky. <laughs> My three tanks will move out to attack. My 12 infantrymen will march on the city, and I <laughs> shall be master of the city. But, boss, three planes, three tanks, 12 soldiers. You can't take over a city with a little army like that. I can, for I have a plan. Sure, boss, sure. If his plan fails, he'll be the laughing stock of the whole city. Cad was not the only one who was listening to Simon's plan. Ace TV reporter Sweet Polly Purebred had been listening in. Oh, no! I must hurry to the police. Uh, let me see if I get this straight now. Simon Bar Sinister has three airplanes, three tanks, and 12 soldiers, and tomorrow he's planning to take over the city? That's absolutely right. <laughs> three planes, three tanks, and 12 soldiers. <laughs> There's nothing funny about it. Simon Bar Sinister will be the laughing stock of the entire city. Three planes, three tanks, 12 soldiers. Oh, they don't know, Simon Bar Sinister. If only Underdog were here. But unfortunately, Underdog was busy halfway across the world, holding back a giant earthquake. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Meanwhile, I still think you'll be the laughing stock of the city with that little army trying to take over tomorrow. That's why I brought you here, Cad, at this late hour of the night. This is Main Street, the center of the city. On that lamppost are two very special buttons, which will make me master of the city. Wow, boss, those buttons I gotta see. This top button is attached to a special air raid siren. At two o'clock tomorrow, when my planes and tanks and soldiers move out, 
We shall cross Main Street and push this button. So what? So as the people hear the siren and see the planes and tanks and soldiers, they shall all immediately rush to the nearest shelter, into the buildings throughout the city. That makes sense. They rush into the buildings. And that's where the bottom button comes in. <laughs> I have wired this button to every door in every building throughout the city. Moments after the people are in the buildings, I push this button and... Amazing, boss. You'll have all the people locked inside the buildings. <laughs> then I shall be master of the city. I gotta hand it to you. With those two buttons, your plan can't miss. Exactly. Now let's return to the lab and wait for tomorrow. Simon Bar Sinister meant to lock up everyone in the city and then take over for himself. The hour for his attack was rapidly approaching. Come on, Cad. We dare not be late. Yeah, boss. We want to be right on time when we push those buttons. What are all those silly people doing? What's all the noise? Gee, boss, it looks like a parade. Let me through. Get out of my way. I have to cross the street. You can't cross the street. This is the Thanksgiving Day Parade. But I must cross the street. Not a chance. The parade will be going on for hours. Gee, boss, if you don't get to those buttons, your planes and tanks and soldiers will move out alone, and you'll be the laughing stock of the city. We've got to cross Main Street. The only way we could cross this street is to get rid of the Thanksgiving Day Parade. And the only way you can do that <laughs> is to get rid of Thanksgiving. That's it. Now get rid of Thanksgiving. Hurry, we must get back to the lab. You really going to fix it so there's no more Thanksgiving? No more turkey. <laughs> no more mashed potatoes. No more cranberry sauce. Aha! Uh -huh. Where can those two be running? I must follow them and see what they are up to. How are you going to get rid of Thanksgiving? The time bomb. The time bomb? With this bomb, we can go back in time. I simply set the dial to the year I want. 1621. Then wind up the bomb. Then we wait for the bomb to explode and carry us back to 1621. We shall go back and see to it that the pilgrims and Indians are not friendly. <laughs> then there shall be no Thanksgiving feast and no Thanksgiving Day parade. <laughs> Gee, no more Thanksgiving. He's done it. Oh, if only Underdog were here. Where, oh, where has my Underdog gone? Oh, where? Halfway across the world, suddenly, Underdog, with his ultrasonic hearing, heard... Where, oh, where has my Underdog gone? When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go! <laughs> No need to fear, Underdog is here. Oh, Underdog, thank goodness. Simon Bar Sinister has gone back in time to make the Indians fight the pilgrims. He wants to get rid of Thanksgiving forever. To get rid of the Thanksgiving Day Parade. We must get inside the lab and see if there's anything we can do. Look, Underdog, the time bombs that can send people back in time. It seems we too must go back in time to halt Bar Sinister's sinister crime. Simon said you just set it to the date you want, 1621. 
then wind it up. And when it explodes, we will be back with the pilgrims and Indians. And Simon Bar Sinister. Oh, this time bomb just has to work. We've got to stop Simon from making the pilgrims and Indians enemies. The time bomb sent us back just the right way. We're back in time to the pilgrims' day. But why are the pilgrims staring at us so? Martians. Creatures from outer space. Save the children! Grab your muskets, men. All right, now, be making just one move and we'll open fire. Wait, you're making a mistake. We are your friends. They don't look like friends. I say shoot them. Hold on, men. You must not judge a book by its cover. If you two are friends, prove it. Do something to show your friendship. Name what you would have me do. I will prove we're friends to you. Our fishing boat. It's all full of holes. Now, what can you do about that? When friends are in need, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go! It's like a miracle! It's bigger than the Mayflower! What other deed would you have me do to prove that we are friends to you? Well, we do need a meeting house. <laughs> It's ten stories tall. Amazing. Have him fix my house. Plow the field. Cut down a tree. Plow the schoolhouse. And while Underdog was busy proving to the pilgrims that he and Sweet Polly were their friends, where was Simon Bar Sinister? There's the Indian camp, Cad. You hide here with these weapons, and I shall go and stir up the Indians. How? Oh. How? Oh. Who are you? I am powerful medicine man from other tribe. I come to tell you that you must fight pilgrims. They plan to attack you. Pilgrims are friends. Yeah, they were friends, but with my strong medicine, I can see the future. All big medicine men do big dance. Let us see you dance. Heap good dance, but still not believe pilgrims will attack us. You'll have to believe me because they're attacking right now. I said they're attacking now! I said they're attacking now! <laughs> hmm. Maybe you're right, Medicine Man. Pilgrims turn against us. They ruin our teepees. We attack Pilgrim Fort. <laughs> Put on your war paint, Braves. Man your bows and arrows. You're attacking the fort. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the fort, you have indeed proved your friendship. You have done many kind deeds for us. And now we must hurry, Underdog. Simon Bar Sinister must already be with the Indians. We can't let Simon have his way or he'll get rid of Thanksgiving Day. But it looked like Underdog was too late. The Indians were already charging on the Pilgrim Fort. What could Underdog do? <laughs> Sinister had tricked the Indians into believing the Pilgrims were their enemies. <laughs> Our job is done, Cad. The Indians are attacking the Pilgrims. Now there shall be no Thanksgiving feast, <laughs> and so there shall be no Thanksgiving. And that means there won't be any Thanksgiving Day parade. It'll just disappear. Exactly. And I shall be able to cross the street and make myself master of the city. And the time bomb is set. When it explodes, we will be back in the present.
Come, Cad. We have just enough time to get to Main Street and push the buttons. <laughs> Up ahead on Main Street, the Thanksgiving Day Parade suddenly disappeared. Hear that, Ted? The parade is gone. My planes and tanks and soldiers will be coming any moment. And we'll cross the street and push the air raid siren button. And, and, and everyone will run inside the building, and I shall push the other button. And it'll lock every door in the city, and and the people won't be able to get out. And my army and I will take over the, the city. <laughs> But at that very moment, still back in 1621... With my X-ray vision, a fire I'll light, and the pilgrims and Indians will stop their fight. A fire. It'll burn down our fort. Stop fighting and get some water. Fire! Fire burn them red man forest. Stop them fight and get water. This fire has shown you should not fight. You need each other to keep things right. But what about teepees full of holes from bullets? What about the damage that attack has done to our fort? There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. <laughs> Fort is more beautiful than ever. We have a new split level teepees. Let's have the Thanksgiving feast. Hey! 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 Thanksgiving feast. And at the very moment, Simon Bar Sinister had reached the middle of Main Street, and the Thanksgiving Day parade reappeared. <laughs> through my buttons. I must push my buttons. But the parade swept Simon and Cad down the street, never to reach the siren button or the door locking button. And so when Simon's three planes and three tanks and 12 soldiers appeared, they were easily captured and Simon was the laughing stock of the city. <laughs> look, look <at> Underdog and Sweet Polly used their time bomb to return to the present. And once more, people looked up into the sky and said, That's a plane. It's a boy. It's a frog. A frog? Not plane, nor bird, nor even frog. It's not even the law of me, Underdog. <laughs> it's a balloon. 